Hi there, it's Nasrat here. So what is the brain energy theory? It's a theory that comes from um, Dr. Chris Palmer, who is a Harvard psychiatrist. And his theory around what causes mental illness is that mental disorders are metabolic disorders of the brain. So he believes that metabolism and specifically our cells and the mitochondria in our cells, which are like um, what they're called the powerhouse, the um, part of sort of like um, the cell that is involved in energy production and um, very powerful kind of part of our cells is involved in symptoms of mental illness. So it's very interesting and it goes down to sort of like the cellular level of what causes mental illness. Now, this is a theory. So it is surrounding cell dysfunction, um, mitochondrial dysfunction, um, inflammation in the brain that contributes to um, the symptoms the symptoms of mental illness. And how this came about, um, Dr. Palmer tells a story of working with a client who was um, diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder, a 33-year-old man. And he was trialed on 17 different medications. Uh, he resisted treatment for decades. And over time, he had gained over 100 pounds. He was um, nearly sort of like a homebody. Um, and what happened was, and he also had sort of long-standing history of hallucinations and was just struggling and not really doing a whole lot. And Dr. Palmer uh, put him on a keto diet and noticed dramatic changes in his psychiatric symptoms on top of losing 150 pounds. So from that experience, he continued to use keto with other clients with similar successes. And these are people that have serious and persistent mental illness who have had, you know, all kinds of medication trials and were not seeing results. So he also made a connection um, when he looked into the hip nutritional piece that there was a hundred years of research on the ketogenic diet as a therapeutic treatment for epilepsy, which a lot of um, medications for epilepsy, for example, are used also for uh, bipolar disorder. But the interesting thing was that keto can also be used for metabolic disorders like obesity and diabetes and Alzheimer's disease and all of those things. So there was a, he made the connection between sort of nutrition and metabolic health and how those could be related, correlated, and how they can impact mental health and the solution to help with metabolic disorders and anything that's related to metabolism can also help our mental health. And so that's pretty fascinating. And it's also a, a very safe approach to healing and health. And it's not to say that this is all the answer for everything but it is a pretty powerful foundational thing, which is our nutrition and our the connection between our body and our mind, and that those things are not separate and they influence each other. Um, and if inflammation and cell dysfunction can cause various illnesses, let's say, you know, um, heart disease or diabetes or in different aspects of parts of our bodies when we have a lot of inflammation we also have disease and so why would it be any different when we experience inflammation in our brain and our cells um, 
how would that influence our brain health? And so I love the brain energy theory because it's logical, but it, it is because also now there is studies being done around the world um, around the effectiveness of um, the ketogenic diet and lifestyle, um, lifestyle interventions. And so that's another thing in his book, um, Brain Energy, Dr. Palmer talks about how um, the health of our cells is not just on diet. He also encourages exercise, um, you know, what's called metabolic therapies and, you know, sleep, proper sleep, um, prop, you know, connections, healthy connections, um, exploring meaningful work, all of the things that benefit our health, that those also need to be implemented. It's not just the ketogenic diet. Sometimes people look at that as, okay, this is what's going to help, but it depends on all other things as well that you can implement, meaning, you know, staying away from substances, reducing your stress, um, having meaningful work or and connections, um, making sure that you are moving and exercising because our bodies are made to move. There's so many other things that can be implemented along with a ketogenic diet, which is basically a high fat, um, moderate protein, very low or little carb at all, under 20 grams. And all of that sort of compounded then gives you the results. And for some people, it's quite dramatic. Um, I'll put a link with my own experience around this um, that I had struggled with um, antidepressant induced bipolar disorder for 13 years and I was on medications, um, 10 different medications I was trialed on that I had like terrible um, reaction to and side effects. And I was able within a span of about seven years to implement metabolic therapies and many different approaches, including the ketogenic diet. And I was able to taper off um, my psychiatric medications, multiple psychiatric medications, and also um, be symptom free. And so that was an incredible experience for me to go through. And I would say coming across this community of people who are exploring these different options, metabolic therapies, and the brain energy theory was really helpful because it helped me look at um, mental illness in a very, from a very different perspective, but it's also from a very hopeful perspective that gives people the power to really change their lives and take control. And there are so many things that you can do to improve your mental health. It doesn't have to be just this one size fit all approach of just medication and therapy those have their own, their own place, that's fine. Um, they can be quite beneficial in some instances, but for many people, they struggle, they continue to struggle because those medications have serious effects and many a times unwanted effects. And long-term, there's no proven uh, sort of um, way that they're going to continue to improve your mental health. So I think it's important to explore different options and to look at ways that you can improve not only just your mental health, but also your physical health and all aspect of your life. And I think metabolic therapies and the ketogenic diet can be really quite helpful in that way. Uh, when you clean up your diet, it benefits you physically. And also now we know that there is a huge connection between um, nutrition and also brain health. And so I just wanted um, to share that with you. And also I would highly, highly recommend that you get brain energy and borrow it from the library or buy it. It is definitely something you would want to have 
and read and it has just beautiful information um dr palmer is um really excellent writer and he just puts all those scientific pieces in a way that's very digestible and um it's going to change the way you think about mental health and especially if you're a mental health professional i would highly recommend this book it is a required reading and um is going to help you to kind of change and shift your practice in the way that you interface with people who are struggling to be able to empower them and to give them resources and information that's going to be really tremendous in changing their lives. So I just wanted to share that with you today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Oh, excuse me. I have put some information in the description below for our weekly newsletter, The Mental Health Manifesto. I would love for you to subscribe. Also, leave me your questions and comments, and um, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.